Hey guys, happy Friday. It is September 7th. Can you believe it? I haven't done a whole lot of um, vlogging and I've often said this is my favorite type of video and it really is. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I get bored of just, you know, strictly product reviews or beauty videos. At least I get bored doing them. There are some that I love watching, but after a while, it, it's almost like the same old, same old. I gravitate more to vlog style videos because of course Jay and I are RVers so I also watch a lot of RVing videos and sailing videos. I follow a bunch of sailors on uh, YouTube and I enjoy those types of videos. I also enjoy creating the vlog. So here it is Friday, September 7th and I haven't really done a official sort of vlog in I think since we came home from Bar Harbor. I'm going to insert a couple of clips just catch you up a little bit of what's been happening. We went away for the long weekend and we went to Booth Bay Harbor, which is one of our favorite places on the coast of Maine. It's two and a half hours from home. It's easy to get to. We go there every year, sometimes a couple of times a year. Booth Bay has a lot to offer and Booth Bay is a little less crowded than Bar Harbor. It's obviously a lot closer than Bar Harbor. And I just think Booth Bay is beautiful. We always go over to Ocean Point. This is in East Booth Bay. It is beautiful over there, absolutely beautiful. I have said repeatedly for years that I think the walking along the shore in East Booth Bay, looking at the beautiful ocean views all along that whole stretch from Grimes Cove to Ocean Point Inn is just an amazing, beautiful, calming walk. We walk it a couple of times every time we visit. We just totally love the East Booth Bay area. And of course, we have our very favorite ice cream place that Jay always has to have his ice cream at. He loves this ice cream. He corrupted me twice. I had two ice cream cones while I was away for the long weekend. And when I say long weekend, I took Thursday and Friday off. Saturday and Sunday and Monday, of course, was the holiday and Tuesday off. So we didn't get home. I left really super early Wednesday morning and drove directly to Londonderry because I have a class I had to teach. So to be corrupted only twice, with ice cream was pretty good. Now, on our last day, we sat on one of the deck restaurants, McSeagull's. It overlooks the water. It's just a really pretty place to sit and enjoy your dinner or lunch. And so we had appetizers there, and I had a uh, old salty dog type of a margarita. It was good. I don't drink a whole lot, so it was a really good drink, and I enjoyed it. And that's what we did sort of on our last day. We walked around. I bought a hat. I really love this ball cap. I thought it was just very pretty. It's understated. It's not over the top, but I loved how it had this little bit of an embroidery of the beach chairs in it, and that is so me. So the only other thing that would have been more me is if it had flip-flops. When we're fortunate enough to scoff a campsite into this little tiny campground that's oceanfront, we have taken a campsite there and stayed there, but it's so hard to get in. Love, love it. That is the campsite that I have done some sunrise videos. I'm going to insert a time lapse here for you to enjoy. This was actually taken from inside my motorhome, aiming out of my bedroom window very, very early in the morning as the sun was rising over South Port Harbor in, in the Booth Bay region. It is a gorgeous campsite, and uh, unfortunately, they're going to try to go seasonal next year, so I don't think 2019 is going to be our year to go back there because the seasonal prices for the site that we like, super expensive. So that was the scoop on that. We came home. I started teaching Verani U this week. Next up for us, other than maybe quick weekend here and there at the beach, but next up for us is a family wedding at the end of the month. And that's going to be another long weekend that's super exciting because we're going to have the family. And it's a little nerve-wracking because I am going to be officiating the, cere the ceremony and uh, it's my niece's wedding. So I'm a little, I'm a little nervous <laughs> about that, obviously. But Hey guys, it's Saturday the 8th. In the previous clip, I, you know, I talked about Booth Bay Harbor trip and coming home and all that. And I'm going to insert a bunch of clips from my vacation in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine, right after this clip. But before I do that, a couple of you have asked how I like the Invisibobbies that I've been using. I have several different Invisibobbies, some that I have bought and some that have been sent to me from the company via the Octoly network. So I, when my hair was shorter, I couldn't really use these, but as my hair grew, 
I was really intrigued by them because I had heard a number of reviews where they didn't crunch your hair up, they didn't hurt your hair. And I was like, yeah, okay, you know. So I did buy my first two sets and then I saw it on the Octoly Network and I requested that they, and they actually sent me some and I love, 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 love them. I've actually given some of these away because I really love them so much. So most of the time on vacation, my hair was up, obviously. And so I would put my hair, i twist my hair up on the top of my head and I would put an Invisibobby in to hold it in place. And then sometimes I'd take a claw clip and I would just clip the claw clip in the very back to keep the short strands that don't quite reach the top of my head up. I never ever, I mean, it, it, sometimes I would take the claw clip off later in the day, but I never ever had to redo the Invisibobby the entire time. And we went hiking, we went, you know, all over the place. We were outside a lot and these things, these babies held up. They held my hair up, they never hurt my hair. So then I saw the, the trio that they recently had promoted and I said, ooh, I like this because us, they have different sizes, different colors. They have the more neutral, the original. Then they have this clear. Then they have like, you can see it's a little bit different in the shades and also in the shape. The clear is more white. This one is more of like a, a sort of a neutrally color, but you can see through it. I'm really liking this. And then this is much bigger in a natural shade. So anyways, I did request if they would send me these and they did. So I am tinkle pink because, <laughs> that sounds pretty good, and I'm wearing pink Ooh. because I absolutely love these. And I think these are perfect if you have long hair, if you want to put your hair up like I've done. And I put my hair up almost every day that I could since the heat, since the summer. And once my hair got longer like this, I could pull it up easy enough and I did that. The other thing I wanted to mention is, and this is another product that was sent to me, and this is Mark Daniels via the Octoly Network. So some of you know I've done, I've done a couple of different looks at a couple of different volume boosting type products. This Mark Daniels Body Bounds Vavoom Volume Boosterizer, this actually claims that it's going to instantly transform, let me read this from the website, instantly transform flat fine hair into voluptuous hair and to give you lift and bounce and body. I've used this maybe five times since I've received it. So what I did this morning is after I did my serums and I let my serums dry, I took this and I put it on the tips of my fingers and I went through, especially on the top where I, I really need the volume and the boost, I went through and I put this all on my dry hair. Now they say you can, you can do it, it's better to do it after shampooing and I've done it after shampooing and that's absolutely right. But I shampoo at night and then I go to sleep after I derma roll. So it doesn't really work for me that way. Maybe the next morning I wet it and I'll start all over again. So I put this on dry and then I ended up taking a couple of big Velcro curlers. I think four of them and I did along the crown in here and the rest I just left the way it was. And then I just took my, my hair dryer and I just warmed up my Velcro curlers in my hair and then took my hair out and this is basically, I don't know if you can, you can see it, and actually getting some volume on my three day hair. This is pretty good. I'm really liking this. So, so far this is a plus. So far this will go into the column of I would buy this myself. So I'm gonna to continue to use it. I'll report back at the end, but so far I'm really liking it. So now, if you hung in there, thank you so much. Here is my vacation blog. I will be back at the end. This is East Booth Bay, Ocean Point, and this walk along the ocean. Many, many, I mean, amazing scenic views and beautiful homes. So we actually take this walk along Ocean Point Road several times when we visit the Booth Bay Harbor region. That stone church you just saw is absolutely wonderful. I would say to Jay, if we ever renew our vows, I would love to do it in that church. It is magnificent. And then you come out and you see these views on the top of the church doors, or landing, I should say. Isn't this beautiful? Now listen carefully, because you're gonna hear some beautiful sounds towards the very tail end of this tiny clip. And this is Dodge Point Nature Path 
in Newcastle, Maine. This is just probably about 10 minutes from our campsite. Just a really cool walk in the woods and you end up on a shore path that follows along the Damascata River. It was really pretty. We only saw a few other people out there, people walking their dogs, people just enjoying nature. It was like an awesome surprise because we'd never done this walk before. So this path in the woods along the shore path just brings you out to these like really, really, really beautiful spots. Private areas too. At least private as far as we can tell. Huh? I said private areas, at least as far as we can tell. And the tide's still coming in. So get to still walk here. This will be covered, I think, when the tide fully comes in. This is probably the first time that we've come here that there's actually been people. Usually we come here and there's not too many people around, but that restaurant's actually open. eating, And there was some sort of a reenactment out by the lighthouse. Of course, I'm afraid to sit at the picnic table. So I've been having my picnic lunch standing. Well, Jay enjoys a seat, but chicken. I am chicken. I just remember what that felt like when that picnic table went over and <laughs> crushed me in that position with the picnic table resting on my back of my thighs and my legs wedged up underneath. It was like pretty scary, in my opinion. So we're on the tail end of our Labor Day weekend. It's Sunday. And we are actually staying until Tuesday. And we continued a little drive around and we went down towards Bristol and went over some really cool bridges and along the shore road here. Just absolutely beautiful views. Just amazing, I think, when you look at some of the less traveled spots. Like, look at this. You know, all these folks live right on the edge of the ocean like this. And it's like, for me, if I ever had a place like this, I would just be sitting out there and enjoying it all the time. But I suppose if you live there, you need a break too. But I love seeing people kayaking out there. I love just driving by, seeing sailboats go by. It was just really a pretty, pretty spot to explore. Love it. And then we found this little yacht club. At least that's what we think it was. Because you could see all the different sailboaters coming by. It was just it was just really pretty. And so we stopped and we walked around and enjoyed. Isn't this a beautiful spot? This is the Damascata River. 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 I said river. River of what? I said the Damascata River. And I meant to say river. everyone always says I have a northern accent and it's the river. It's the dropping of the R's I think that make it that way. This is the, um, the driveway to my home, my summer home. I guess you didn't know that, did you? It does say private. No stopping them. <laughs> Sorry. No stopping you, huh? Yep, he's bad. So for my Outlander friends, look at the name of that boat. <laughs> Do you think Black Jack's here in Booth Bay Harbor? Oh, look at that. It's heat lightning, baby, heat lightning. I can't get it. 
sunrise. As I'm leaving the campground, I'm heading home. I'm actually heading to work. Jay will bring the rig in a little bit later. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching the vlog. I know that the the clips can be a little bit long at times, but you know, the Booth Bay Harbor region is just so pretty. If you've never been there, it would be something that I would say put on your bucket list. Actually, all of Maine, the coast of Maine is just absolutely gorgeous. So the other thing I always get asked is about my collagen supplement. This is from Great Lakes Gelatin. I'm going to link their website. I don't sell this. I don't, this isn't a commission thing for me at all. Although I would love it if they did send me some money because I've been talking about this for over two years. So I buy the big eight pound bag and we just kind of refill it into this can. But this is pure, unflavored protein, kosher beef, and this is Great Lakes Gelatin Collagen Hydrostate Collagen Joint Care Dietary Supplement. I've been using this since January of 2016. And the questions always are, am I still using it? Yes. I use this twice a day. I take two tablespoons of this every morning and I mix it in my coffee. Then I take two tablespoons and I'm either going to put it in a protein drink that I'm having in the afternoon or I've also been known to put it into a cup of tea. I usually mix this with something, unless it's in the blender, or like I'm blending up a protein shake, I usually mix this with something room temperature, whether it's water or it's tea, seems to work the best for me. I love, 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 love this. I really believe in the power of a collagen supplement that's pure, it's not mixed with a bunch of other things. You're getting pure, 100% that collagen. It's gonna go inside, it's gonna work to the outside. I think the collagen supplement, it's helped Jay tremendously. It's helped with his walking, with his hips, with his golfing. I mean, before he started to use this, he's an avid golfer. He was having a hard time walking the golf course. He had to take the cart all the time or the wagony thing. And he used to, when he was younger, he always walked it because it was great exercise. He couldn't walk the golf course anymore. And then when he started to use this, all of a sudden, he started to walk the golf course. His chiropractor is amazed at what his condition is today. And his chiropractor is so also sold on this that he's also doing collagen supplement. And it helps him because, you know, he's repetitive motion of pushing and pushing. So yes, to all of you that have asked about the collagen supplement, I take it twice a day, two tablespoons each time. So that's four tablespoons a day. It is a lot, but that's what the in instructions call for. That's what I've been doing since January of 2016. That's what I continue to do. I buy the eight pound bag because it's cheaper, the bigger refill size. It is cheaper that way. They do not have a loyalty program as far as I know, but it is worth it. We will never, ever, ever switch from this. So that's the scoop on this, guys. Thanks so much for all your support. Thank you all so much for watching the vlog. I truly appreciate it. Catch you all later. Bye, guys.